Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are working with a horse, for example, if you want to do trick training or just groundwork or just the basics, to make sure that your horse is not really food focused, respects your own space, and just kind of have clear communication between you and your horse. Hey, thank you for being here. Yes. And being here with your horse. Pleased to be here. Um, I just took over for a second because you kind of have a problem with your horse that is a bit more difficult. Uh, maybe you can explain everybody at home a bit more what your situation is and who you are and who your horse is. Yeah. Well, I breeded this horse myself uh, from a mare okay. who is very, uh, yeah, uh, by the hand, we say in Dutch. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like... Um, very clever, very yeah. uh, a, step, a step forward and things like that. So I breeded him and uh, he's more... Uh, down-to-earth uh, kind of horse, uh, but he's young, yeah. uh, strong, and uh, and uh, because of Corona, uh, we maybe did not that much training as we would like to do. Yeah. So it's always a little bit up and down, and uh, and now uh, he's six years old, but still young, yeah. and uh, and still uh, quite into your space, and uh, and and always a step ahead, and, yeah. and uh, so. Uh, I know it's going to be a perfect horse at the end, you know, because he, he has yeah. a great character, but it's, there's still a lot of work uh, to do. And yeah. I think I need the horsemanship uh, or your training, uh, especially because, uh, yeah, yeah. To, communic to keep in touch with him and, uh, and yeah. him, for him not to overrule me. Yeah, because I think we've done some things in the past. Yes. Um, and then, I mean, he's a very nice horse, but he always or wants to run or wants to go f further through you yeah. or he wants to kind of he like on hold everything, hold the rope. Yeah. Um, so normally I was planning with this video like how to do trick training with a horse that's really focused on food. Um, but I think with a horse like this, you shouldn't do too many tricks yet because you can do some like small tricks, smiling and yeah. all these other things. But yeah. it's always important that first, before you add other things on top, that your horse is kind of with you. Yeah. And and everything is okay because of course a horse can be fresh and a horse can react a bit uh, but you don't really want an explosion like what just happened i believe <laughs> yeah no that's true we didn't start with all the tricks at, no. at the, uh, because uh, um, uh, because yeah the base has to be good you yeah. know and, yeah. uh, and we're still working on the base and it's not that we didn't work on the base no. but he's so uh, yeah uh, uh, yeah, so uh, by the hand, you know, yeah. so he's so clever in things like that, that, uh, that, that sometimes it's, it takes a long time to, to yeah. come there where we come and we, co we come there, yeah. but it's very small steps. Yeah, but I have to say, like last time, I don't think you wanted to walk him in yourself. So you already keep going and you keep yeah. moving forward yeah. and it is hard. That's definitely and true. With yeah. horses, I think it's always difficult when things go wrong or you have a really difficult period. But I think in the end, you're very grateful because you do get to learn a lot. You do get to know each other really yeah. well. Yeah, and we have so the time. So it will all be good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to walk him a little bit. Um, and then later we will work also a bit on like how to deal with the food. Um, but of course, before your, when your horse is still so high in energy and so like, focus with everything else. We're first going to work on that. Yeah. And then we're going to see how you can also kind of help him when you do want to work with food, because working with food can really help within the process with everything you do. Mm -hmm. uh, but they also need to learn how to handle the whole food part. Yeah. Some horses are really easy with it and some horses kind of struggle with that. Yeah. So I'm going to walk him a little bit. And then maybe um, you can share with us a little bit what he does with his mouth all the time. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, I have uh, I, I breathed him, so I know him from from a, a fall. And uh, as soon as we uh, started to work with him, when he was three years old, yeah. uh, we noticed that he really put everything in his mouth. You know, he's really he's never scared. And uh, and sometimes when I when I'm over there and I, I correct him all the time. Yeah. At the end, he's really tired. You know, but relaxed, but yeah. uh, tired. So it is. Uh, it starts when he gets bored. You yeah. know. Yeah. So uh, uh, the first period. Uh, we the period he doesn't do it with his mouth becomes longer. Yeah, okay, but that's really good already. Yeah. Because now he's like touching me a little bit, but yeah. he hasn't like grabbed me yet. And I think no, a while ago, he will. Yeah, yeah. At the a end while he ago, will. he would have done it already way sooner. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Yeah, that yeah. is true. But if you stand there and don't correct him, then at the end he's pulling you around, yeah. you know? Okay, so we just get back to the fir very first basics that you always have to get back to. So what you want is that you eat, so you ask something always has meaning. So for example, if I now ask, like, I don't want him, I want him to move backwards, but I do this, but nothing is happening like now. And I just be like, oh, okay. Then 
your horse, it like sees all these signs, but he's like, oh, I don't really care because it doesn't really mean and anything. And at the end, he eats your yeah, <laughs> extra exactly. ear. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that I can use really small aids and I can be very easy with my things and he really knows and can be soft on what I mean. And I usually use the ropes kind of as a tail that the horse uses it. Like I'm, I'm a mare basically and I'm warning them. Um, so I never use it to, it might look like a lot, but I'm never using it to go towards them and like kind of like hit them with it, not at all. It's just making like kind of a warning and a movement. Um, and if he doesn't react, I can make the eight bigger. Once again, not to make it harder, but for example, if he doesn't do, I can do it on my own body a little to make it, make it a bit bigger. So that is kind of what you want in the beginning for him because I want to wait here and he can just wait there and relax on, him, on his own. So that's something that I think you should start with. And we just do that for a second. And if that's kind of okay, um, then we're gonna work with the treats. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So what you have to really keep in mind, that is usually the hardest part, is that when you feel something, like you feel like, oh, now, for example, I stopped, but he didn't fully stop, but I just go with it. Just try to follow the feeling inside and make sure to, that you feel like, oh, okay, I meant actually maybe a bit more, a bit less to really go for that, because then you can be really clear and consistent in your rates. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And here, for example, he gets it in his mouth, what you said, that was a bit of the problem. <laughs> just kind of take it out, don't, don't put too much attention to it, and just keep asking what you do want, so the focus goes to the thing you want. Yeah, and now just walk, yeah. And just have now already the rope kind of loose, because now you're already holding him like he has to stop. But if you're asking that, you want him also to stop. So I think personally, now he's already too forward yeah. and you're already kind of going into his thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's and true. he want, he needs to get guidance from you. So they always say you have to be a leader. As long as I think that sounds a bit strict. So I just always say like you have to be kind of a guider. Yeah. And now again, if you stop, is he focused on you? With him, you have to have him really focused. Yeah. Okay. Then you stop. Ask him back. So you can just send him backwards a little bit. Yeah, and you always start small. And then when you feel like that works, then that's fine. If you feel like he's not really doing what you're asking, like here, you're already moving away from him. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like he came to you and you were like, oh. Oh, yeah. Um, but then it's kind of the opposite. Okay. So you kind of want him to be out of your space now. And that always, as I say, it always sounds very strict, but you just have to be clear with horses and horses can get peace by knowing what you mean. Okay, one more time, walk and stop. And just, you can, when you normally are okay with having him here to stop, it will be best if now you think that 30 centimeters further back. Yeah, and then relax and make sure that he can relax, good. You always want to have him not to have a bad feeling, but you want him to have a good feeling. Okay. Keep asking. Yeah, and whoa. <laughs> okay, so that's something that you kind of can keep in mind. So as I said before, if you feel like something needs to happen, just make sure you do it and make sure you explain it. And I think you can be what is normally okay for you. You can make that a bit harder. So if you want him to stop here, you just make sure you now want him to stop there. Yeah? Yes. Okay, you do it one more time and then we get into the treats. What's also much better than the first time that, that I always had a little control eh, on, the, yeah. on the rope. And now we can have it loose. He's too far now. It's a lot better. Yeah, and then relax. Yeah. And then you can also take a moment to just kind of stand still, let your whole body relax as well. And his body can also relax. It's also important that he kind of takes a breath and be like, okay, she is okay and I'm okay. And careful that you don't move away from him there. Yeah. <laughs> Because now if he wants to grab something and you take it away like this, then it doesn't really solve oh, that's the problem. Oh, uh, yeah. that's, that's a good point. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not saying you have to like go all in onto him at all, uh, but you can make it clear by just telling him no. Okay. Are you enjoying this kind of content? Then head over to the Horse Show TV YouTube channel where you can enjoy free content or you can become a member and you can access hundreds of videos right away. So now we go back to where we were. Okay, you walk again one more time. So you do a lot of walking with him, of course, because it's important. This is better um, for him to like have the basics. The yeah. Normal and I always put him back. Understanding together. I always yeah, put him that back. Was better. 
Oh, and there, relax again. Yeah, and if you wanted him to do one more step, you can keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but also very brutal. Eh? Yeah, he keeps on trying. Is this okay? Can I? Can I? And these kind of horses do also these things because, yeah, for him it's maybe not always been clear what is okay and what isn't. So he's kind of trying to make well, the most of it. Well, with the mouth thing, we, we've come a long way. So, yeah, for <laughs> he, sure. He knows that it's, but it's stronger than himself sometimes, it yeah. feels like that. And I'm wondering, how did you do it as a foal when he was a foal? Was he allowed to grab everything because he was kind yeah. of cute and everything? Or? No, uh, uh, he was raised uh, by the horses. That was very important. Yeah. We had young girls on, uh, on and I'm not always there, you know, but he was in the, in the, in the herd. Yeah. Uh, and there was an older uh, granddad horse who loved him. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he, he could get, get away with a lot. Yeah. And at the end, he became uh, strong. Huh? He, he is stronger than the other peop horses from the herd. So yeah. uh, he's, he's still playing with the horses, grabbing their uh, halster and things yeah. like that. Okay, we can see a few things because for me, it's never a problem when um, they grab something in their own time. They kind of sometimes need to know, of course, it can become something obsessive. Um, but they shouldn't like grab it when we're holding it here. And you, but you also, as I said, always you don't want to make him feel bad about himself. You always want him to feel happy about himself, yeah. but he just needs our guidance a little bit. So here, for example, I usually do with the trick training. I start with, if I work with food, um, to teach them to look away from me if I have the food and I kind of uh, explain it. So here I have the treat on my hand, say wait or wait, wait. And I try to explain it to like guide him in the right direction, wait till he looks the other way. Yeah, and then I take also the hand away. Wait. And you see his energy becomes way higher when there's food involved. Mm -hmm. Is that dominant? Um, oh, good boy. It might be a little to do with dominance, but it's also a bit for him not having the kind Control. of clear understanding what okay. he can do, what he cannot do. So for him now, food is just like, oh, if I do something or if I move to you, I get the food. Yeah. And then, or something yeah. happens. So yeah, there's always something happening which isn't really clear for him when there's food involved. So yeah. as long as he knows if there's food involved, what he is allowed to do and what he isn't. So for example, I use food quite a bit, but it's always when I really give it to the horses. So they did something well, of course, they know and they know me that maybe food might come, but if nothing comes, it's also okay. Yeah, yeah. So when I do give it, I make always very sure, first of all, they have to grab it gently. I don't want my whole hands to be gone. Yeah. Um, if your horse doesn't do that, I kind of make my hand a bit like smaller and I go like, move it a bit like this. So they really have to learn to use their lips instead of their teeth to be able to get the, the treats. So here he's still not doing that. So I make a bit of it. And now here he's kind of using his lips and then he can kind of get it. And I always really give it here. So for example, with the smiling, I might ask the smiling. Um, yeah, good. I'm not gonna do like give the treat here because then my command is not really clear uh, separation from like the, the, the treat. So what I do is then, for example, really good smiling. Yo, good. And then now he wants to grab it already. Then I say, no, no, wait, no, gently, gently, gently. So you just really have to take your time for that. Yeah. The same as you don't want your dog to bite your hands off. <laughs> Good. And it's also not that you always have to do for every little step, they do have to give them any treats. But now we're just gonna kind of see how he's gonna react. Because a lot of people have the same problem when you work with food. See, and if he comes back to me the whole time, I just say, no, don't make too much of a problem out of it. And then you see he's trying to find distractions somewhere else. He just needs to find to relax even when there's food involved. Because some horses can get angry as well, uh, and then it becomes also a bit dangerous. So it doesn't mean you don't have to use food, but you have to teach them how to handle food. Yeah, yeah. And that's not one, a one-day solution. <laughs> okay, maybe you walk a second. Yeah. Just keep doing the same thing as you did before. Um, and then you can try the same with yeah. the food, yeah? Yes. And now again, keep in your mind what you want. Only ask when you mean something. Yeah, there you ask something and what happened? Not enough, I guess. Eh? Nothing yeah. at all. <laughs> good. It's very difficult, so you're doing really yeah, good. Yeah, because he, he's, he's strong in his opinion. Eh? Yeah, but that's also because you 
gave him too much. Kind of, if you do, for example, this and nothing happens, then he also doesn't really have a reason to. And yeah, so what do you want? You want him to back up? Yeah, yeah. because he completely. Okay. So that's always important. The same as with the food, it comes back to everything. So you also use your body because in the end you only want to be able to use your body. But if he doesn't react, you can just use the rope a bit to help. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, and I usually use a lot of voice as well. I don't know if you like to use your voice. Yeah. Uh, but I do, for example, for the backing up, like shh, shh, shh. Okay. Um, instead of clicking or instead of something else, so it's very okay. different than the other. So things. you're sh it's just for the backing up. Yeah. Okay. Or for the like waiting a bit and yeah. Okay, and for example, um, if you touch the mouth, yeah. then he's also already always yeah. busy. So I think what you kind of want to focus on, of course, you say he does it with everything. Um, and some horses are different than others, so they don't all have to behave in a certain way. But what we want for him is even when I just want to be able to touch his face, that he can relax. Like now you see, he gets yeah. a bit stressed. Like he doesn't even care anymore about grabbing me, but he is like processing it and he doesn't really know what to do. So he's like really kind of like stressing it. So I just want to be able to touch the See, then he gets yeah. that again. So that's really like clear that it's not really only like a mouthing problem, but also comes back to just not really knowing what to do and just trying to get himself out of the situation by just doing this because then he kind of have control over it himself. Yeah. And he just needs to learn to just be and not... Ooh. Keep in control. Yeah, just you can just like... Oh. Good. See, then the problem already becomes onto a difference. So these other things are just a symptom. It's not only the problem, it's just what he's showing. Okay. So, because okay. the lady who, yeah. uh, who trained him when he was young, you know, to, yeah. to keep him riding, uh, she said, well, don't bother the mouth, not that much, ignore it, you yeah. know? So yeah. that's, uh, I, I, I most of the time prefer not to go in the zone, but yeah. it's good because he is six already and he yeah. has to become more mature. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to trigger it too much, but on the other hand, if we have a problem, we also need to address it. Yeah. Like, for example, if I yeah, have, I don't know what kind of problem and I'm not doing anything with <laughs> all it. All the problems it, it we is, have. Yeah, I have a lot of problems <laughs> um, and I'm sure I'm not doing everything <laughs> with all of it. But, but it's funny to see because you see him going into his mind now, right? Yeah. Do you see his whole face is like, and he can stay there for a second and then he needs to be the other opposite again. Yeah, so then yeah. he needs to be not explosive, but be a bit more explosive. At the, at the end, it is an explosive reaction yeah. that he gives, you know, with yeah. the, it's a heavy reaction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. that is just because he can't be there, of course, in one moment, be like fully there. So, for example, now I can try, he's already less in the beginning, right, yeah. with the mouth. Yeah. Then he can kind of, he doesn't really know what to think, but he can't stay after relax. But he is also okay to release the everything he's processing and uh, look at then he gets this again and yeah. then after he probably relax for a second and then he will shake again. I just wait for him to relax. Good. That he can see this is just nice. Yeah. And then it comes again. Not too bothered by it. It's just a symptom. Good. It's more like he wants to have the last word. In it. <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't really know what to do with everything and I feel like he just needs to be able to just stand here, enjoy our company, yeah. enjoy himself. Yeah. And he does, yeah. because he likes the attention. And he loves it. Yeah. yeah. But just without having to nibble you or <laughs> just be him yeah. without anything else. Just good. being a troll instead okay, of Okay, good. Okay, you can um, try with the treats yeah. for now. Um, just, just let him look away a little bit. So just so that you have some control. And if you do give something... So first I show. Um, yeah, you just hold it here. It's just your hands. He already knows straight away. Yeah. Um, but you just want him here, the reaction that he's giving. Um, you just want him to look away gently. And then when he does, when you in the end maybe would give it, make sure you give it and he grabs it gently and he's not just grabbing it. Um, and now we're really focusing on all the steps. Later on when you're doing more with him, the food gets included and then it's a real different process. But with him, yeah, you just have to start from the very beginning with this. Because now it's also really focused on the food, yeah, but that's yeah. not a problem. Um, if you do it within the work, then you have the work as more of a distraction as well. Good. Okay. So you can try just to have him relaxed. Yeah. And then we move on to the next thing. But he's showing everything really clearly, so that's very nice. Yeah. Like he shows what he likes or doesn't like. So you just have it there. You just want him to look away. Nick. Get him out of your... Nick. 
Yeah, so no. your bubble, just remember your bubble. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, and not in an angry way, just in an explaining way. You're just trying to help him through this kind of thing that is difficult for him. So, yeah. yeah. And then when he so. does do it well, you yeah. also just let your hands go down, even the one with the food. So now, for example, you can have your hand with the food a little bit more visible. But then when he does exactly what you mean, then you take it away. So it's very clear for him, okay, this was what, is, what I can do. Yes. Yeah, Good and then so. relax your whole arms. Yeah, everything. And then on the right moment. So you can do that one more time. And really when he's finding the right spot. Yeah. yeah that was a lot better. Good. And then, yeah, careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you almost gave it straight yeah, away, yeah. right? And That's that is true. really a normal reaction. Yeah. Like I'm saying this now, but sometimes when Andorra gives me a kiss and then it's like, oh, can I get something? I'll give it to. Yeah. But you have to be re very careful. For example, now straight away, but this first thing was really good that you did. Yeah. And then now is important to also remember the second step. And that is when he does come after you say, well done, he does come fully into you. Good. So your own reaction can be smaller. Because if he does come into your space, you just tell him no. It's okay, you can stay there. Yeah? No, no. Okay, so you do it one more time. Yes. Just be clear on what yeah. you want. Good yeah. show. Okay, now you also take a deep breath. Make sure he's out of your space, so don't move away from him. Just be there together and respect each other. And you can also do it with the hand with the food. Just make sure to explain what you want. Ne yeah, good, so... Just out of your space there again. Because he's already, yeah. And to make it easier, you can give him his space and you give, get your space. Good. Okay, well done. And then you just walk for a little second again. It's always good for them to be able to release everything again, especially when things are difficult. It has, to do, it has to do with timing, of course, and it's good for yeah. me to learn that, uh, that I can take my time, that yeah. he can make the connection, you know, that... Uh, yeah. No, exactly. That it's not like he did good. We have to uh, become peaceful in this. Yeah. Eh? There has to be rest and... Uh, yeah, and consistent. So yeah. always the same. That gives them also the peace and the... Good. Okay, and then you can maybe stop here again. Have the same rules that you want. Yeah, know what you're asking. Whole yeah. body. Ta -da. Ta -da. Your body language is number one. You walk. Yeah, you don't have to doubt. If you, even if you, for example, what you want later. Um, sorry. But he more. always takes takes the step back. Eh? Then yeah. I take my piece, and he goes like. Yeah, this, one always. More. Yeah. yeah, and then you just do it one more time. Because eventually, like this rope is to help. But what I would like eventually is that he's just. Um, just as in a herd, for example, if the boss is there, the boss walks, they will walk. If the boss doesn't walk, they won't pass him. Um, I would kind of just, or the leader, <laughs> yeah. I would kind of just want, if I move into his direction, that he already backs up without me having to do too much. This is just as an extra if he does something, but your body is the most important. Shhh. Shhh. See, and then he's already, and then he's now also trying to nibble me and touch me with the mouth. Shhh. So I just kind of make sure I don't want that. Just so I tell them that's my body. Yeah. And then later you can make it really small, even. Good. And then again, oh, your left body. Yeah, and back. See, so it becomes a bit more focused on you. And not all the hectic around, but if it's necessary, we can help a little bit with making some movements with the rope. Okay, you can try that one time. But with you, it might take a bit longer, not because of you, but just because you guys know each other longer. Yeah. So even though you might do, th might do it perfectly, it doesn't mean it happens straight away. Right. And now you just try with your body language first to like see if he moves away from you. What do you mean you. at that? So you just, you just have your bubble, like this is yeah. kind of your... Sounds crazy, but your energy kind yeah. of thing, your bubble. And I stand up straight. If I want something, make clear, you just feel it. And then when it's okay, you just kind of show that again. So instead of using straight away the rope, you can just, he will feel you if you will try to feel him and be connected. Horses can be done, like horses communicate on very small signals. Yeah, so yeah. we can try to do the same. Yeah. Okay, you can try, so just mean it with your whole body. Just walk towards him and you're just trying to explain that he can yeah, and easy. Look. <laughs> oh, just gently. Yeah. So it's always in a good way to explain. Okay, then we keep going with the mouth thing again. 
what I what you can do without the treats first to see if you can also help him get a bit more relaxation to, with the mouth. Yes. Yeah. So just see here, pet him. Uh, when he finds the relaxation, you just let him know. I can hold the rope for you if you want, so you don't have to do everything. <laughs> the last word. Yeah, but it's okay. That's just the symptoms for now. Yeah, and then you take it away again. And then you can tell him, no, not in my bubble. And that's something just has to be consistent, yeah. Okay, then you can ask the smiling. Oh, you have treats as well. Uh, do you still remember how to do the smiling? Yeah, with the finger yeah. up. Eh? Okay. Just in one hand. Eh? Just the, yeah, the, the, and then the later you can say when he did really well, and then you give him a treat. Um, but you have to make sure to do it in the right way. Yeah, they say well done. Well done. Well Good. done. Good and then do you remember? Uh, yeah, then we keep in. Uh, yeah, if you would give him a treat now, how would you do it? I would first take the, uh, the rest and, and, and oh yeah, if he... Uh, if yeah, he you see, can do it how you would normally do it. So we can yeah. see maybe how you would do it normally in the video. Come on, smile, smile, like so. Good. Oh, that was really good, right? Yeah. yeah. So there he kind of waits and for you to give because the timing is also important to do it quick because then they link it to the exercise. But if the time isn't ready, shh, um, you also have to take your time for it. Yeah. So it's always important to have timing right. For example, I ask a trick and I need to make sure they know it. But as long as my timing is already right with my words, so I let them know it's okay. Then the treat, of course, should follow quite quick. But if he is still biting my hands off, I shouldn't give him the treat. I should work first on keeping my hands on my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. And yeah. at first there was a lot of uh, uh, ten uh, there was a lot of energy yeah. and, and now he was more peaceful yeah. and uh, waited was really for good. everything. Yeah. And for example, now he grabs this again. What I would do is just kind of get his focus somewhere else or trying to see if he can find his relaxation without having to do that. So we, he's just becoming into this discussion. Okay. And I'm not doing too much. I'm just trying to help him. So I'm not just going to let him be on his own and be struggling. Just move, move, move. So here I just, uh -huh, till he finds a bit of relaxation, yeah. You just have to really try to focus on the very small steps. So it's not about him not getting the rope, it's about him just being able to stand here and relax. Yeah. And I'm not a horse to play with, yeah. Good. Good, so. <laughs> and he's like now going for your leg. Yeah, no. That's that's the uh, that's he wants to have the last word. Yeah. Right? So you think, okay, he's relaxing, he's going downstairs, and then he grabs your yeah, toe. Yeah, then he will grab, yeah. then he keeps going. But um, but that's okay. I'm just yeah. gonna wait. Now, in the beginning, it might take like a minute, maybe even two minutes, but eventually it will be better. And he might maybe even like be always a bit with his mouth, but that's also maybe how he is. But see, yeah. then you see again that if he can't do it, he needs to do it in another way. So yeah. it, I think it's really something he's searching for that he wants to get out of it. Um, in, and he shows it in this way. Yeah. But that's really important and very different with every horse. Some horses are just really food focused. This one is just really busy with his mouth. Um, but always just important to help them and also give clear, clear, but also be clear in what you are okay with and what you're not okay with. Can we try one time uh, that you help him to find a relaxation when you are in his uh, face area, that yeah. you are touching him till he kind of finds it relaxing instead of he knows I have to like kind of gra try to grab your hand. Yeah. And do we do that from walking or just from the side? Oh, we can just do it here. Okay. Now. Yeah. Oh my, on hmm? And this mm -hmm. is going to take a bit of time, but you know it and you are open for it, so that's good. <laughs> I will hold the rope for you, otherwise you don't have hands enough. Yeah. And I think it's just so interesting to see, like, it's not only about the biting, as you see. It's really oh, like... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Come on, it's such a sweet boy. Oh. Till he finds it, and it has to be a very small part first. <laughs> that makes it play it's a okay, it's just a, yes. This is just waiting, feeling. 
Oh, and it's oh. good that he's showing the things. It's better when a horse shows everything that they're feeling yeah. instead of them blocking everything off. You want them to, be, he feels comfortable enough to show you how he's feeling. So that's really good. Oh, 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 oh. that's fun. And this just takes a bit of time. Ooh. Yeah, almost. Yeah, and if it's no, too he... difficult, you try it with one hand first, not on both yeah. sides. You see what he's comfortable oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good so. Almost. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's little steps. Yeah, and then you can let go. It's okay. It doesn't matter if he shakes his head for now. Good. Okay. I think that's... Uh, it's going to take a bit of time, but yeah. I like you're really uh, honest and fair and open for it and you want to do the right thing. So that's already the most important thing. And yeah. you have a really nice horse. He has the same attitude in that, yeah, exactly. I guess. Yeah, yeah. so you have, it will all be fine. It's just these small things. And if you are able to help each other, you can enjoy each other even more. Yeah, because you like each other already yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, but in this way, it will become even nicer. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank I'll you very much you. as well. And I hope you can work on this and yeah. you, uh, you, you like keep it. Keep on growing. Yes, yeah. for sure. Okay, and I really hope you guys at home also enjoy that. I think there's always different kind of horses. So, for example, this one with the mouth does certain things. Other horses might do other things like really food focused or something similar as this. It's just important that you are very clear. You try to help them, but never make them feel bad and always try to support them in the best way possible. So good luck and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Do you want to see more videos like this? Then head over to the Horseworld TV YouTube page where you can watch free content or you can become a member. I will put a link in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.